Good morning, Well Changers. It is day 15 of the 100 Days of Self-Discovery Challenge. So by now, I'm sure you know what this is about, but if you're seeing this video for the first time, every day I pose a thought-provoking question, I share my own reflections on that question, and I invite you to do the same, and I invite you to share your comments and your reflections below in the comments, um, either take a photograph of your journal entry, or you can post a video like this. If you don't feel comfortable doing it so publicly, you can do it um, in our Change Your World personal development group, which is a private closed group on Facebook. And you're more than welcome to join and it's free to join. So that's what the challenge is all about. Uh, it's all about get, uh, so you get to know yourself, you get to know what your fears, doubts, limiting beliefs, what's holding you back and also what your dreams, goals, desires are. and you know, so you can make steps to start creating and designing the life that you really want to live rather than just reacting to it, because that's what we tend to do if we don't take some time out to reflect. So today's question is, what makes you accountable? Or what keeps you accountable, I should say. So the reason I chose this question, um, uh, as I said, it didn't come from the book, um, I just have been watching the group and observing what's been going on in the interactions and the engagements and I've found people that have been coming on board fully enthusiastic and then I've just seen them kind of depleting away, maybe life's getting busy or they've lost that initial motivation. It's the same, I've had lots of people contacting me privately going, I'm loving this challenge, I'm totally on board with it and they've been sharing their reflections or you know they've been keeping them privately but letting me know that they're doing them and uh, doing the challenge and but then the, again I've sort of seen that sort of deplete away and I found myself uh, you know like there's been a couple of days where I'm like oh damn it I've got to do my blinking video and I've got to do my check-in and I found myself literally um just you know life's busy and i've thought oh god i haven't got time for this however it literally takes 10 minutes 20 minutes at the most out of my day and if i have not got 20 minutes for a bit of personal development and self-evaluation about where i'm going what i'm doing how on earth can i start creating the life that i really want to live or continue building on the life that i've created for myself um because there's something wrong in my world if I do not have 20 minutes to share and do this and make this a priority. Why am I not making me a priority to do a bit of self-discovery? And the thing that keeps me accountable, so it's very much doing publicly on social media because I put it out there now that I'm doing this 100 days of self-discovery I can't back out now. You know, people have started engaging with it. They're loving the process. That, you know, they're sharing their own thoughts. I'm committed to this process now. And that is one of the things that when it comes to keeping commitment going and keeping accountable, we often, we set a goal. We focus so much on the goal that we don't think about the process in between. We don't focus our attention on the baby steps required to get to that outcome. We're just like, you know, I'm here. That's the outcome and I want to be there and I want to be there today. And we don't recognise actually change takes time. You know, we've created, we're constantly creating. And if we're not reflecting constantly about what we're, what we're creating in our life, life will just automatically take over and probably negatively um we we'll start creating a negative life for ourselves or a less than empowered life, I should say. So you have to be really, you have to have a daily consistent practice. You do need to keep yourself accountable. And that is through, you know, thinking, well, what can I do today? What is going to take me closer to that outcome that I've set for myself? And it does take time. It doesn't happen overnight. And that recognising that it's daily consistent practice is the key to success, succeeding in your goals. So what, uh, like I say, keep posting on social media, this is why I encourage people to post on social media, post your comments and share because it keeps you accountable, but also it creates a community of role models and support and a network. So when somebody else posts something and a comment about something they're working on, they, they're challenged with, 
then somebody else sees that and goes, oh, God, that's like me. I'm the same. So immediately you've got a like minded soul and somebody that you can start encouraging each other. You know, you can see them grow and you're like, well, do you know what? If they can do it, I can do it. And that's what it's all about. And um, when I um, like last year, for example, I decided that I was going to I was curious about what life would be like without alcohol and I wanted to set myself a challenge to go alcohol free for an entire year 365 days so on the 1st of January 2018 I publicly announced on social media that I was going to give up drink for a year and this I had huge resistance to doing this because I, even though I knew I could probably do four or five months easy Beyond that, I actually had lots of doubts and I didn't really truly believe that I could do it. But I knew as soon as I posted on social media, I was doing this. There was no way because I had fears or I fear what people think of me. I turned that fear and that negative um, kind of response into a positive because that kept, kept me accountable because there was no way, no danger I was going to come on social media six months into the challenge and go, guys, uh, I fell off the wagon, I failed, I had a drink last night. And I just was like, no way, I'm not doing it. And that kept me accountable. So hence why I keep encouraging people to engage and share your comments. The other thing that keeps me accountable is role models. And it is very much connecting with people that have the similar goal, goals or have achieved those goals so that I can continually be inspired by them. So there's a saying that you become the direct reflection of the five people you spend the most time with. So if the five people you're spending the most time with are not encouraging you and supporting you in your goals or... Um, keeping you on track, helping you to keep on track, then find a tribe that will. There is an abundance of groups out there, whether it's in your local community, whether it's online, there's loads of groups on Facebook and social media that you can tap into with people that are like-minded and going through the same challenges and same hurdles. A lot of them are free, some you have to pay for. You know, find what you what works for you and connect with that because the reinforcement of um, somebody else that's going through the same challenges or you know same highs and lows and achievements and or somebody that, that has achieved it and you can see that their life is just like great as a result of making this change that keeps you inspired or keeps us inspired it keeps me inspired anyway having a personal development practice is absolutely key and fundamental you know just think about it in simple terms, improve on yesterday. What can I do that will take me closer to my goal? Um, what can I do today that will take me closer to my goal? Um, I think about that, I'm just looking at my notes. Um, yeah, the, uh, that's the other thing. Uh, the other thing that keeps me accountable is understanding the ripple effect of my actions. So I started to become really aware that every choice I make has a repercussion so I started becoming very mindful about those choices and on really thinking well if I make this choice today or this choice in this moment what is the repercussion of that you know what is the outcome of that and is it taking me closer to my goals now some days I go sod it I don't care and other days I go do you know what no I'm not going to do that you know and Again, if I find myself saying, sod it, I don't care, then I know that I need to re-engage with the reason why I started this challenge and re-engage with people that are going to keep me back on track. The other thing I would say about this question, what keeps you accountable, is look at what derails you, what takes you off track or who takes you off track. And if you work out that then you can you know start distancing yourself or working find ways to manage the situations that do derail you so yeah i'd love to hear your reflections what keeps you accountable nothing like putting yourself out there publicly to keep you accountable i think for me that's the biggest thing that i can do but I'd love to know um, what keeps you accountable, what keeps you motivated and yeah, what derails you? Because, you know, maybe if we know that as well, 
I can develop something around Change Your World that can uh, help that and support that and, you know, create. A, well, this is what this is all about. It's creating a community to support each other and keep everybody on track. So love to you all. Have a fantastic day and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye.